ability to build a brand to be leader Jagmeet Singh Elkis speaking to reporters right now as the fall session of parliament begins. Let's listen in. There's justice for indigenous people and we're doing everything we can to fight the climate crisis. We know that in the next election there's going to be an important choice, a choice of conservative cuts under Pierre Polyev or new Democrats who strengthen the programs you need. While, while Pierre Polyev wants to cut your pensions, we want to strengthen them. Where Pierre Polyev wants to cut health care, we want to fix health care. Where Pierre Polyev wants to let his corporate buddies rip you off, we want to lower the prices of your bills. That is the choice in the next election, these competing views of the future of our country. And I think the choice is really clear. For working people, new Democrats have your back. For a long time, we've seen both liberals and conservatives, both of their governments have been in it for CEOs and big corporations. We believe now it's the people's time. I'll do that in French and then I look forward to your questions. We believe that people want to take care of one another. This is an important value. And it's a value that we all share. I think that people need the opportunity to find a good job, earn good wages, and have the ability to find affordable housing. In addition, they need to pay their bills and buy groceries, have a full fridge of good food. Unfortunately, that's not the case right now. Now, people are having a hard time making ends meet, more than ever. People are telling me that they're tired of the Liberals and Justin Trudeau. Justin Trudeau has let large corporations take over. And in the next election, we will have a choice, a choice for change. Conservatives want to make things worse. Pierre Proliev will cut pension and health care. He'll cut for workers and instead give to his rich friends. So we have a choice in the next election, and I think that our job is to give people hope again. What we will do in the next session is target our efforts. We will aim to create affordable housing. We will also try and break down the costs of bills and fix our health care system. We will always fight for justice for Indigenous communities and for the environment. So the choice in the next election is clear. The Conservative cuts of Pierre Polyev, who wants to cut your pension, or the NDP that wants to strengthen your pension. The Conservative cuts to health care or the New Democrats that want to fix it. The Poiliev Conservatives that want to allow his big corporations and rich cronies take over or we want to save money. Are you not aligning yourself with Mr. Poiliev by distancing yourself from, the, from carbon pricing? Not at all. Let us be very clear about Pierre Poiliev's position. Justin Trudeau has given big polluters, big oil and gas companies, a free ride, continues to give them billions of dollars of your hard-earned money while they make record profits and the planet burns. Pierre Polyev wants to have a free season, an open season for big polluters. He wants to let big polluters pollute as much as they want with no limits and no consequences. That's his plan. We reject that approach because we know there's consequences. Canadians have lost their homes because of the climate crisis. They've lost their jobs. Some have even lost their lives. There are consequences to polluting. And we know the only way we fight the climate crisis is if we make big polluters pay. Our plan is make big polluters pay, actually meet our targets, unlike Justin Trudeau, and make sure that we are protecting Canadian jobs and Canadian homes. A confidence motion in the House that mentions scrapping the consumer carbon price. Uh, let us be very clear. Canadians are doing their part. Canadians are fighting hard. But they see Justin Trudeau and the Liberals giving big oil and gas a free ride. That is a problem. That is wrong. Big oil and gas should not be getting a free ride. We need to make sure we've got the courage to stop big polluters from polluting. That is the fundamental element of our plan that neither the Liberals nor the Conservatives are willing to do. They have consistently given billions of dollars of your hard-earned money to these big profitable oil and gas companies, uh, and the, the Conservatives want to let them do even more. Every motion that comes before us, we'll take a look at it. 
and we'll make a determination what's in the best interest of Canadians. I know by ripping up the agreement, that has made an election date more likely. We will be ready for an election. And when that election comes, it's going to be a choice between Conservatives who cut, New Democrats who strengthen the programs you need. It seems that you're saying that carbon pricing is maybe not the right way for consumers. So if you eliminate that carbon tax on consumers, will you also eliminate the rebate? Answer, I'll repeat what I just said. Canadians are doing their part in climate change, yet they're seeing that large corporations, that are big polluters, oil companies are able to keep doing what they want. And Justin Trudeau is giving massive subsidies of billions of dollars, and Pierre Poilievre's plan is to let them pollute as much as they want. So that's a problem. Will you eliminate it? Answer. Canadians are doing their part. But what we won't allow is, or what we need, is to have the big polluters to also do their part. Why are you using Pierre Polyev's talking point about the carbon tax by saying that it's burdening workers when you know that 8 out of 10 households get more money back than they pay in, in carbon tax? Canadians are doing their part. They're absolutely fighting this climate crisis and they care about fighting this climate crisis. What we're not seeing is big polluters doing their share. And in fact, what we're seeing is Justin Trudeau and the Liberals giving them a free ride. So while per people are doing their part, and they see these big polluters who are the, the major concern here, the major problem, having a free ride, getting all sorts of public money, and continuing to let the planet burn. That is a problem. And Pierre Polyev wants to make things even worse. He wants to have no limits to how much they pollute. Both of Justin Trudeau and Pierre Polyev have it wrong. What we want to see is the big polluters pay, we actually meet our targets, and we protect Canadian jobs and their homes. Sur la question du coût de la vie, parce que vous en faites un argument, la tarification carbone, du coût de la vie. Vous dites que ça ne devrait pas coûter trop cher aux consommateurs. Mais le fait est que si le consommateur n'a pas de prix pour changer de comportement, il ne changera pas de comportement. Comment est-ce que vous réconciliez ça, l'équation environnementale? S'il n'y a pas de prix sur le carbone, les gens ne vont pas changer leur comportement. Answer? It's clear that people are doing their part. The problem is that the big polluters are not doing their part. That's the problem. The large polluters are continuing to pollute. They're continuing to do whatever they want. That's the problem. So people are doing their part, and that's important. People want to do their part. But they see these big polluters continuing to pollute, and that's a problem that we need to solve. Justin Trudeau has continued to give big gifts to these corporations. Poilievre wants to let them keep polluting as much as they want, and what we want to do is stop that and force these big companies to stop polluting. That's what we want to do. Why didn't you force them to make changes to under the you know the supply and confidence agreement? Now it seems like you don't really have any leverage to force them to change on this issue. What became really clear is that Justin Trudeau and the Liberals were too beholden to corporate interests to do the necessary. It became very clear. We put forward a bill, a plan, to lower the price of groceries. Justin Trudeau teamed up with Pierre Polyev to shut down the plan that would have lowered the price of groceries. Instead, they voted to keep the price of groceries high and protect the corporate grocery stores. Uh, we saw that as a concrete example. When it comes to ending fossil fuel subsidies, again and again we fought and said we've got to stop giving hard-working people's money to these big polluters. And Justin Trudeau and the Liberals refused. It became very clear that they were too weak and too beholden to corporate interests to do what was necessary. That's why we tore up the agreement and we're going to keep on fighting to make sure we have a brighter future for Canadians, for our kids. And we know the way we do that is we take on big polluters. So do you agree no. with Mr. Poilievre that the next yes. election should be a carbon election? No, I never and agree with Pierre Poilievre. Do you think it will be a carbon tax election? I think that the next election should be an election on Canada's vision. What is Pierre Poilievre's vision? He wants to continue letting big polluters pollute as much as they want, without limit or consequence. He wants to destroy our health care system, cut pensions, as Conservatives have done in the past, and as he promised to do when he became leader. He wants to cut pensions, health care, and continue to let large corporations rip people off. 
That's his vision. That or what we propose. Stop big corporations from ripping you off. Strengthen the pension system and health care. How are Canadians doing their part? I keep saying Canadians doing their part. What do you mean by that without the carbon tax? 40% okay. of emissions are from consumer people. Canadians are doing their part. There's no question. Canadians are doing their part right now. But what they're seeing is that big polluters are getting a free ride. That's something that offends people, and it should offend them. That's why we said we've got to end these massive subsidies, public money, your hard-earned money, going to highly profitable, in fact, record-breaking profit-making corporations in the oil and gas sector, continue to receive your hard-earned money. I think that is wrong. And Justin Trudeau's continues to let them do that, let them continue to miss targets. Pierre Polyev wants to let them pollute even more. Both of their approaches are wrong. People are doing their, work, their part and care. Canadians care that we're fighting back against the climate crisis because they see the impacts in their lives. I've met with people that had to evacuate from their homes, people who've lost their homes to extreme weather. We know that there's real impacts of the climate crisis. Pierre Polyev doesn't care, wants to let big polluters pollute. Justin Trudeau has let them have a free ride. Both of them are wrong. We're saying we've got to take on big polluters. We've been listening to federal NDP leader Jagmeet Singh speaking to reporters ahead of the fall session of Parliament that begins today and taking a lot of questions from reporters about uh, uh, the, the current status uh, of the, the NDP and how they would, uh, whether or not they would support a vote of non-confidence, uh, a whole range of issues.